Hey everyone, today we'll be going over graphs today, particularly we will be focusing on iterative breadth first search for an unweighted graph, and without any further hesitation, let's get started. And now we're going to do breadth first search iteratively. So the way we're going to go about this is that we're going to go void breadth first search iterative int v set up for vector boolean for visited indicate for each vertex and have that as false because we have not visit anything and since we're dealing with breath for search we always do a queue of integers in this case and we're gonna label this q then we have visited for v is going to be equal to true then we're going to push uh, each vertex inside of our queue now queues operate based on first in first out like a grocery store queue and while the queue is not empty, we're going to have v equal q dot front, which would be retrieving the vertex at the very front. I'm going to output each vertex accordingly. And then we are going to pop the queue. So that way we know exactly that it has been visited. And now what we are going to do um, throughout um, throughout our adjacency list is that we are going to scan for auto uh, i which is our index adjacency v at the beginning since we're not dealing it with um r begin like we did with the stack it stack operates by lifo and while the uh, iterator doesn't equal adjacency at the end uh we're gonna increment i now, if the following iterator in the adjacency list has not been visited, then what we're going to do is that we're going to indicate that now it has been visited. I it's going to be indicated as true, and then we're going to push the actual index that we have found throughout our adjacency list inside of the queue. So we say, hey, this has already been visited, and now we'll implement this at the end. Now, let me just build this to make sure it runs good. And build succeeded. Now I'm going to go down, and what we are going to do is that we're going to do the same thing we did for depth first search, but we're going to do this with breadth first search. And we're just going to call upon this function that we have over here. I'm going to put this down here. And since we are starting from vertex zero, it already makes sense. You can also do dot BFS iterative, and you'll see it come up depending on which IDE you use. So let me just build this, make sure it's all good. Now let me run this. And this is what we get for our breath first search from an iterative perspective. It is do it does what is expected um, for our following outputs because breath first search goes based on uh, levels, while depth first search goes on the depth of the following graph as well. Hence why we have different outputs with our respective vertices. So it's like, for instance, we have zero, then we have one, then we also have five. Um, let me see if I can zoom out of this to indicate the example and then move this up more. So for breadth research again, zero, one, and five, zero, one, and five, then we see two and four, and finally three. So we see the following graph go from zero, one, five, two, four, and then finally three, as indicated, as well as the order of the following vertices is at the same time. So yeah, this was, um, this was iterative breadth first search, and finally, let's go over uh, doing breadth first search recursively. Hey everyone, thank you very much for taking time to watch this. If you found this video helpful, be sure and feel free to please like and subscribe. And if you have any other questions or suggestions, please put them in the comment section. And as always, take care. Cheers. Bye bye.